Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the versatility and one of the reasons why I chose to buy an Escar Hayduke frame and build it up. Um, I just got the frame and bought the parts and built it up myself. And one of the reasons is if you look at those chain stays, you will see that it can accommodate either 275 plus or 29 or wheels. So I actually have both sets of wheels. I, I had, you know, just from part spin, from taking apart old builds and, and, and re recycling them, if you will, I had the wheel sets. So today I'm gonna switch out from this 29er wheel set to my 275 plus wheel set. So that'll put this uh, 275 by 2.8 on the back, and then I'll use this 275 by 2.8 on the front on um, both different tread designs and I had a video about different tread designs so that's kind of what sets us apart with this bike with the with the Escar Jaffe you're pretty much set on a 29 and maybe 29 29 plus if you will where you can go up to 2.8 tires um, this is a 2.6 and back so with this the chain stays are wider and you could accommodate those bigger 2.8, 275 plus, even going to three inch 275 plus wheels in the back. And I'll probably do that in the middle of the summer when it gets really loose. And that's the thing, when you go to a big fat tire like this and, and this plus format, if you notice there's a real wide um, WTB rim that's a, a 45 millimeter internal width, when you go to those big wide rims, 40, 45, 50 internal width, you could run super low tire pressure. It's still not squared off because it's a very sizable uh, tire anyway. Um, and it still has a nice round profile. I'm not sure if you could see that profile the way it is with the sunlight coming in there. But it'll still um, make a nice tire profile and then it allows you to run low pressure and really, um, with a hardtail, that lower pressure on those bigger tires is your, you know, suspension in a way. Um, of course, I have that Fox 34, and that's a 130. The newer Hey Dukes, they recommend a 140. This was, um, this is one of the older Hey Duke frames where the Geo was just a little bit different, and they had it specced with a. I think they had it specced with a 120 and I ended up putting a 130. So um, I can't remember exactly, but 130 was the, the way I wanted to go. And I've been happy with that. Uh, really 10 millimeter difference doesn't make that much difference to the overall fork performance. It's, I guess it's more about stack height than anything. And then as you can see, this, this lifted up my stack height pretty high. So I use those flat bars. Um, so it's not too high up for me, but I could probably go a little bit higher rise, maybe a 20 millimeter rise on those bars, but that's another topic. Anyway, so today I just wanted to talk about the versatility of this Escar Hey Duke and being able to use these uh, super uh, wide chain stays to accommodate bigger tires and, and bigger wheels as you switch back and forth. And if you're a guy like me that's got a bunch of wheels and parts um, ready to go, then why not um, build up this frame and give yourself two bikes with just one frame. And I'll talk to you guys later.